Let's take a look at this kind of long example. Anytime you are going to have three value variables in each term, I mean A, B, C, and you are going to have like eight terms, you're supposed to just check because one of them probably repeats, right? And if you are going to see, you will notice that A not B C and A not B C they repeat. So anytime they repeat, one of them you can cross out. Just one of them. Now let's take a look. Maybe another one repeats. I don't think so. So we can start factoring. I have A not B not and A not B not in these two terms. I have A not B in these two terms. I have AC in these two terms and I have AB not in these two terms. I'm going to factorize A not B not in parentheses I'm going to have C not or C or A not B inside of the parentheses C or C not or A C inside of the parentheses B or B not or A B not C or C not complements or together are going to give me always one. That's why I'm going to write A not B not times one or A not B times one or A C times one or A B not times one. A not B not times 1 is always equal A not B not. The same I'm going to have with next term. The same with A C. The same with A B not. Let's take a look what we can factorize over here. I have B not and B not. I'm going to have B not, A not, or A, or A not B, or A C. This is equal 1, that's why I'm going to have B not times 1, or A not B, or A C. This is going to be B not or A not B or A C. Now I have complement absorption theorem over here. Anytime I have complements, but one of them is ended with something else, that complement is supposed to be dropped out. So I'm going to cancel this out. That's why I'm going to end up with B not or A not or AC. Again, I have complements and one of them is ended with C. That's why this one is going to drop out. And I'm going to end up with B not or A not or C. And this is the solution to our problem.